everybody, as you know, my name is Pokeballer Luke, and if you don't, hi, nice to meet you. And today, people, we have a pretty cool video that I wanted to make. I've never done this before, but I wanted to do a video game review of Pokemon Go. Now, for the longest time as kids growing up when Pokemon was like huge, like 10 times as popular as it is now, we all had that dream of going out in the real world and catching Pokemon, and if you didn't, you know, I'm sure a lot of us did. And it's cool how, in a sense, this is kind of a reality now. Obviously, it's not real or anything, but it's the closest we'll probably ever get. And I think that's really awesome. But today, I am going to be giving you my slightly biased review on Pokemon Go. I say slightly biased because, you know, I love Pokemon, right? To, to the average person, they might not like this game as much. But me, as a fan, I appreciate it a ton. Uh, and we'll get into why, of course, later. In the background right now, you see some Pokemon Go gameplay um, along with some other stuff, you know, depending on what I'm talking about. So we will get into that as we go. Um, but yeah, without any further ado, let's just get started. And remember, as you're watching this, uh, watch with an open mind, right? You know, these are going to be my personal opinions and my personal experiences. And uh, so, of course, it is opinionated. Uh, not in the same way opinionated as, like, a top five or anything, because there's, like, facts to back some of this stuff up. Um, but, of course, yeah, it's opinionated. But without further ado, let's get right into this. <laughs> So as I said before, you know, Pokemon Go brings out the kid in us. Like, I cannot tell you, th this game, right, this game makes me feel so, like, happy inside for some reason. And I've never felt this while playing any other game. There's been games that I am so much more excited for, like, you know, Smash Bros. 4 when that came out. Uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire when that came out. Even Call of Duty back when I was a little bit more in the middle school ages. I was so excited for the releases of those games. But then when they came out, it, it was like they were really fun and I was addicted to them for a long time. But I feel different with Pokemon Go, right? It makes me feel like I'm seven again on the playground with my friends going out to go find some Pokemon. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching might be a little bit younger, around 10, 11, 12. Um, but for the older people watching, you know, somewhere around my age, I'm 17. Uh, kids my age who are like dealing with like, you know, more serious things in life, of course. Um, you know, we're growing up. It's nice to have like this little fun experience, this cool little outlet where we can just, you know, feel like a kid again. And it's not embarrassing. Like people aren't looking at your phones because I know a lot of us are a lot of us older Pokemon fans that won't just like go to school and tell everyone we still play Pokemon because, you know, people will judge you for that and whatnot. And of course, you shouldn't care what other people think about you uh, in a sense. But, you know, it still happens to the best of us. But yeah, I do think this game like really brings out the kid in me and it makes me smile. It makes it warms my heart, honestly. And just, you know, I've been seeing tweets like, oh my God, there's like 10 people around me trying to claim this gym. Like, I just think that's crazy. And like the adults, the pictures of like adults playing Pokemon Go, um, even like I follow like Call of Duty YouTubers, other random YouTubers, gamers um, on Twitter who have nothing to do with Pokemon. And everyone's just going over this game. I saw Nigahiga talking about it, PewDiePie, uh, Philip DeFranco, his tweets have been hilarious about this. So I just think that's really cool, you know. So now I'm going to tell you why Pokemon Go will last. Now this is my main my main part of the review. This is the meat and potatoes of this review, right? And uh, I just think this game will last for a very long time. Now, obviously, in a year or so, not as many people are going to be playing it as they are now. Of course, the game just came out. People are hyped about it. And some people are going to hate the game. Some people are going to get bored of it fast and uh, delete it off their phone. But I think um, a majority of the players, like at least 50, 51 percent, right? I think they're going to like this game, keep it. Maybe not play it every day, but they're going to keep it. And it's going to just be like a fun, casual thing you can enjoy. Pokemon Go is not the type of game you play just to play. And you can't play this game 24-7. I mean, if you have played it already, you know that you have to be walking around outside. You can't just be sitting in your room all day playing this. And I think that's really good how they promote being active. Um, I saw this one tweet. It was like, Michelle Obama tries like for years to get kids to go out and play on the playground and has minimal success. And then Pokemon Go in 24 hours had like people like running outside. I don't know. It's crazy. Um... But yeah, you can't play this game like whenever you want. You have to be like either in the car, going on a walk, walking home from school or something. You can't just be in your room sitting on your ass and just like playing it for fun. One reason that I would think makes this game last is the fact that like 
when you're walking home from school or something, you're walking home from school, walking home from work, walking to your friend's house, why not play Pokemon Go, riding the bus in the passenger seat of the car? Why not just turn on Pokemon Go, see if you can catch something? I mean, we all love the, the augmented reality catching of the Pokemon. Even if you turn AR off, it's still cool just to, like, catch the Pokemon there with that, like, green background or whatever. What you know? Why not play while you're walking home? You have nothing better to do. You can put on your music in the background. I know for me personally, when I walk home from school, even though it's like summer right now, when I walk home from school, I'll just have some music on, just walk home, just like thinking, thinking about what's on my mind. Um, but like, what you know? I plan on this year when I'm walking home from school, open up Pokemon Go, go and buy all the Poke Stops on my way home. Uh, most of the days, probably. And just seeing if I can find anything. It's like, why not? What what do I have to lose by playing Pokemon Go instead of doing nothing? And I think that's the main reason why this game will last. There's just so many opportunities where there's nothing better to do other than play Pokemon Go. Because it is enjoyable. Whether you think the game is going to last or not, it is enjoyable. The times where you do find Pokemon, and uh, it, the exploration, right? Like, I think the game's pretty addicting. I think we can say that uh, the big fans of it so far can say that this game is pretty addicting. You want to find Pokemon. You want to get that Charizard, uh, right? To get, like, a Pidgeot. That's one that a lot of people are starting to get from the beginning because, you know, Pidgeys are really common or like eradicate um to get that you have to catch more Pidgeys and like it's addicting you want to get that Pidgey out you're like oh dude I remember Pidgey out from my childhood when I, when I played Pokemon red and blue on the Game Boy I need to get a Pidgey out I need a Pidgey on to get that you have to get more Pidgey Pidgeys more Pidgey candies whatever they're called you have to get more of those so it's addicting like you want to get that Pidgey out so you're gonna work for it and it's fun you enjoy yourself right whether it's finding new Pokemon walking five kilometers to hatch an egg you just oh, no, I'm getting a text you just kind of like go on your own adventures. For example, the other day I had an egg. It was a two-kilometer egg, which means it gives you a uh, it gives you a common Pokemon, so nothing even rare. I was expecting like a wheel or something, right? So I asked my brother to just go on a walk with me around the block. We end up walking around the block three times to get those two kilometers down, and it hatched like like it just. If it weren't for Pokemon Go, I'd just be sitting in my room playing Pokemon Go or being on my computer or something. But instead, I was like, I was out walking with my brother, talking with my brother, uh, and then we hatched the egg, and it was a Pikachu, which is something I haven't even seen before. And I know it's an inside joke on my channel that everyone hates Pikachu, but I personally love Pikachu, one of my all, top ten favorite Pokemon. Uh, but I digress. But yeah, it just, it's like, I, I wanted to know what's in that egg, I worked to get it, and it was fun, and I was active, I, I was social, and uh, Pokemon Go helped with that. I'm not gonna lie here, there is a unfair advantage to people that live in cities. This on the screen, as you can see, is like all the Pokestops I see from my house. There's one more behind my player that I didn't show, but I can see all these from my house, and that is a ton. And I want to go, and I want to go every day, get the Pokeballs. It's only day two of the game, and I already have over 100 Pokeballs, which is not something that everyone has, so I think that off the bat is pretty crazy. And I just, I want to go to all these. I want to go to all the gyms around my house. You can see there's a few gyms. I want to go there. I want to explore, and I want to take over those gyms and leave my Pokemon there. I think that'd be really awesome, and I'm going to do that within, you know, the next, uh, within the near future. There's just tons to explore, and uh, what's really cool is that there's different Pokemon in different areas. I don't know how entirely true there is. Obviously, I think you're going to find, like, a Rattata or a Spearow or a Pidgey in, like, every area you're in. But I know that they said that you find water Pokemon in water areas, right? So that's, that's like really the only one I can think of. Maybe you can find like deserty Pokemon in more deserty areas. Like I haven't even seen a Sand or Diglett or anything yet. Um, but you know, as the game goes on, as it progresses over time, uh, you know, we'll see how this, you know, comes out. But as of now, like we see the water Pokemon in water areas, whether it's like near a lake, a river, a beach, an ocean, beach and ocean, kind of same thing. Uh, but still, you know, I think that's really cool. <laughs> Now, for the negative parts of the game, because of course with everything good there is something bad that comes along with it, we're just going to go over the negatives real quick. A lot of these things can be fixed, actually they all can be fixed, um, so, and I definitely think, you know, Pokemon Go will, you know, with, you know, it will improve as it goes on in time. As I'm recording this, it's only been out for two days, so it's very, it's in its very early stages as a game, um, we'll get to that in a second. So the biggest problem that we've all been basically, you know, 
experiencing is server crashes. These happen a lot. Um, this would make sense. It is a new game. It is being overwhelmed with the amount of people downloading it. And yeah, the servers are pretty crappy right now. But I guarantee you they'll improve as time goes on. I mean, it would only make sense. Why, why would they want crappy servers like this? And for the most part, I haven't had too much of a problem other than the first day when the game came out. Since then, it's been pretty much fine for me. Um, but the servers are definitely a problem. There's a ton of like memes and crap on uh, Twitter about the servers and the people running the servers room and how it's a mess. Um, but you know, that that is a pretty big problem. The next problem is you sometimes won't find Pokemon for a long time. Um, as I said before, my brother and I went on that two kilometer walk to go find a, to go hatch my egg. And in that walk, I found two Pokemon on my first lap and then we went around the block three more times, which was like 20 more minutes, it was like 10 minutes, we were walking pretty slow. And I didn't find a single Pokemon, which was disappointing to me. I was hoping that I'd find something in that walk, uh, but I didn't. And, I, you know, I wasn't too upset. I still hatched the egg, which was my main goal. I went to a few Pokestops every lap around. But it, it was upsetting that there wasn't a Pokemon. You know, I feel like you should find one, like, every five minutes of walking, right? Like, I don't want to be walking. I, I feel like it should be based more off of time walking then it should be based off of distance i think it's based off of distance as of now i'm not 100 percent sure i haven't like studied pokemon go um but i you know i think that can be fixed and lastly there are some glitches uh for example apparently at some gyms you'll get the pokemon down to one hp and then it's impossible to kill them uh, i think that's pretty pretty game breaking glitch to be honest gyms are pretty important like you want to take over all the gyms right so i think that's pretty game breaking out uh, they'll definitely fix that in the future uh, another one i have is if i drag the ball to the top corner of course you can see a picture on the screen right now it will just freeze there and i can't move it and i'll be moving the camera around and it just won't do anything now usually to fix this all you have to do is close the app and reopen it but that's still <clears throat> oh god excuse me but that's still a problem that should totally be fixed, and I, I do want to definitely see that fixed. Um, because I lost, like, an Eevee because of that, and dude, I, w I was so pissed off, you have no idea. Um, but yeah, I definitely think that that is a pretty easy fix, most likely. Uh, this is just a launch a launch glitch, basically. The game was just launched. So, you know, it makes sense there's going to be glitches, but uh, we do want them to be fixed. And also, the game crashes a bit. I personally have not had many, um, many problems with it crashing. I have an iPhone 6, so my phone's, like, fairly new, and... Uh, there's no problems, but I know people with like older iPhones, like uh, my brother has a 4S, and like some people still have fives and stuff like that. Those will crash. It will crash. Um, your device isn't as powerful. I'm sure with some Android devices, it's the same, which I'm sure will probably always be a problem. But they can definitely improve that. Maybe add like lower quality settings. You know, um, I know they have like power saving mode and everything. Which if you don't know, that's a pretty cool life hack. Uh, just go into the settings and uh, get out of power saving mode and you won't lose your battery as fast because this game surely drains battery uh, but yeah the, the crashing you know a lot of games crash uh, like Minecraft Pocket Edition other big games other big mobile games they'll crash from time to time it happens it's a mobile game thing um, it will probably get better though definitely not fixed though it will always be a small problem <laughs>
And yeah, I guess that kind of concludes up this review. If I were to rate this game out of 10, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10 on July 9th, 2016. That's what I'd say at its current first edition form, just released two days ago. Yeah, I would give it that. And uh, yeah, I just want you guys to tell me in the comment section below, what would you rate this game out of 10? What do you want to see improved? What features do you want to be added? And do you think Pokemon Go will last? Put it in the comment section below. And with that, guys, I am going to be out. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. And I love you guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you all in the next video.